everybody? It's Alex Lamb back here again for a brand new like interview video and joined today with Mr. Jeremy London. What's going on, brother? You know, this uh, dark, dark history convention mm -hmm. here in Champaign, Illinois. Mm -hmm. yeah. How's the con going so far, man? Uh, yeah, for a Friday, I'm you know I'm surprised anybody showed up. It's been pretty good though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. So like you've been on the convention circuit for a while now, right? I've done it for a few years. Yeah, I've been mean, probably 15 years, I guess. You know, of course, when Mallrats first came out, you know, it didn't do well, obviously. So like, I mean. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Oh, you're welcome. Rub it in, man. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. That's, that's a good, good. Okay. Rub I'm not okay. depressed now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's so like. <laughs> It's okay, man. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I'll make it. It has persevered. Yeah, it has persevered. The phoenix so. from the ashes. Yes. And so, like, would you say that, like, the Mallrats, like, fan base is, like, growing with each generation? Yes. It always amazes me that you guys even know about, know about the movie. You yeah, know? yes. I mean, I'm 50 this year, you know? The really? fact that I did a movie 26 years ago that you guys are all still digging is really great. I mean, it still holds up. It's a, it's ridiculous, but it's funny and it's timeless. And that it doesn't take itself seriously. And, and uh, it's just a, it was a, it was a fun it was a fun ride and still still continues to be. Oh, no, exactly, exactly. It's one of my favorite comedies ever made. And Good. Thank of course, you. of course, Kevin Smith is a. Um, I really wish Jason Lee did conventions. That would be great. Yeah, that would be shocking. It, He's I, a very private dude. Oh, that really? Would be shocking. Yeah. That would be yeah, that's unfortunate because, like, you know, a lot of other people do. Ethan, freaking Michael Rooker, and yeah, people that want to make Kevin money do. do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Kevin's one of my favorite filmmakers. You know, he's very inspirational to me. And uh, um, what would you say are like a, a few things that you learned from Kevin? Well, it was only his second movie, you know, and I'd been doing, I'd been make, um, um, in the business for several years by then, and so I thought I knew more. Um, and so I guess what I learned more than anything is to trust. To, to trust him whenever he, he does something that's unconventional because he had a definitely unconventional approach to getting us to do the scenes faster and stuff like that. And at the time, I thought he was out of his mind. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. But then it, whenever I saw that it worked and for the movie and that it actually was, a, you know, it made me realize that, you know, to trust him a little bit more. Um, what would you say, um, this is a basic as hell question, but I don't care. What, what's your favorite Kevin Smith movie? Mall rats. Mall rats? Yeah. Me too, brother. Yeah. Come on, man. Me too. But I mean, that's a softball <laughs> question. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I know, Chasing I, Amy would be the next one, though, I'd say. So. Oh, definitely. That's a great one. Good movie. It's a masterpiece. I can't wait for Clerks 3 as well, man. Yeah, man. I need. We need Clerks 3 to do well, because I think if Clerks 3 does well, then we'll probably get to make a Mall Rats 2. Mall Rats 2. Yeah. So, of, of course, you're down for it, right? If they do it? Yeah, of I course. Mean, I mean, you'd have to be. Right? How would I know? Yeah, it'd be stupid not to be. Exactly, exactly. Has he talked about it? Is he down yeah, yeah. He was down eight years. Listen, man, I've been doing going through this for eight years. My, my kid was six months old whenever uh, Kevin first proposed Mallrats 2 to us, said it was going to happen, and now he's eight, eight and a half, you know? Yeah, <laughs> for eight years he's been talking about it. I know. It's not because he doesn't want to do it, he just has to get it from Universal first, and so oh, yeah. there's a lot of hoops to jump through with that one. Oh yeah, because you know, like that was the only one through Universal, and the rest of them were with the Weinstein Company, right? I don't, I don't know about Weinstein. I, or I mean, I, like from back then. I don't, I don't think so. I think that 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 View Ask You just owned the rights to the rest of the movies, where Universal had all the rights to Mallrats, I believe. What would you say is your uh, personal favorite, like memory, like uh, uh, the, like filming the movie, the one that like sticks out the most in your head, and or, you know? Uh, just the times after we would be shooting when everybody's hanging out and playing music and, and hanging out in the hot tub and just getting to know each other. Whenever I was doing these conventions more than anything uh, and realizing that the number one reason anybody wanted my autograph really more oh, more than, well, I'd say number one, it's the, the top reason was always mall rats. And whenever I would get invited to conventions, most of the time it was the pop culture convention, uh, the pop culture aspect of of mall rats and sort of what it's become in uh, uh, in that sort of pop culture world, you know, um, uh, that's really when 
I really notice it. And just the fact that, you know, like I said, the first 10 years, nobody really even watched the movie. And so it kind of, in my mind, was something I'd almost forgotten about, you know? <laughs> And so all of a sudden it was just back in my life all of the time. And I was like, what's going on here, man? This is so weird. And then I got to reconnect with, you know, Michael Rooker. And, you know, I was born in the 70s. I grew up in, in, the, in, in, the, in the 80s mostly, in the early 90s and stuff. And mall ra malls were huge. But, you know, people from smaller towns, a mall, get, just going to a mall to hang out with their friends is like the highlight of their fucking week, you know? Yeah. It, you didn't have to buy anything or anything. It just, it's just a place to hang out. And mall rats were those kids, the ones that just really didn't buy anything. <laughs> they were just there uh, taking up space and being loud, acting like they owned the place, even though they weren't even buying anything. So, you know, but it was to me more, it's nostalgia more than anything, just having that group meet up place with your friends where it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. But, and it's a, that it's a, it's gone. That's, it's never going to happen again. Malls are never going to come back the same way again. It's depressing, you know. It was such a big part of my my childhood that you know generations like you guys, young ones, and then the ones that are going to be coming forward in the future, even younger, they're going to completely forget about malls. Before people, they're going to be like, "What the hell's a mall? Yeah. Everything's online. How convenient is it to put something into your phone and then it shows up at your front door?" You know. There's no competition for it, I guess. But I, I do believe that mall culture is dead, unfortunately. I don't think it's coming back. People like convenience, you know? And when you can just hit a button on your phone and all of a sudden stuff shows up at your door, it's, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's coming back. It's kind of a bummer, you know? And not to mention they're becoming so unsafe. You know, I, I live near Jackson, Mississippi, and you just don't even want to go to the malls there anymore. They're, indicative of a specific time and youth culture whenever it's like it's a good way to place to go to get away from the parents blending into becoming an adult trying to trying to be have some independence and grow be grown up you know and have somewhere to to pretend to be grown up with your friends you know exactly. so you know i don't know i don't know kids are too busy with their phones and computers and video games and stuff anymore, so I just don't think it's gonna come back. They'd rather mingle online, socialize with people they don't even see, you know? Exactly. So it's kind of a bummer, but it's just it's indicative of the times. It really is. It makes you question what's progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not really a question, but like, I just want to say, like, Mallrats is one of my favorite films of all time. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Like, in middle school is when I got into Kevin Smith, and I found Mallrats. I actually got it on VHS from, like, a thrift store. That's great. And, like, it's kind of personal, but, like, my parents went through a divorce when I was in middle school, and, like, Mallrats was, like, one of the movies I just kind of escaped to. That's so, really cool, man. Just, like, thank you for, like, playing such a great character. And, hey, man, I'm really that man. A lot. I'm glad that I could be a part of that for you. I've been through it with my family as well, so I get it. It's not easy. But, uh, you know, I think that's the beauty about what we get to do, you know? We give, give people a fun escape, especially these movies like this that are just silliness, you know? It doesn't have to try to be anything other than what it is, other than just something to try to make people laugh, you know? Yeah, it's just good. Yeah. Hey man, I appreciate you guys. Oh, no problem. All, all very well said, man. So, um, yeah, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Like any social media or anything? Or no, man. You can find me on you can find me on Twitter at Sir Jeremy London, and uh, all this other stuff. There's, uh, there's there's other stuff back there. Zoom um, in on it for you. There we go. Give him a follow on there. And um, say, would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? No. No? No, hell no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that lesson. <laughs> yeah. I was born yesterday. <laughs> yes, well, I, I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so hey. much for taking the time to talk to me. Yeah, my pleasure, man. All right, see you guys later. from Dory Lauren Adams, did you have a stud double? Uh, no, but I can tell you she uh, she missed she missed and connected and dropped me. Uh, they, they rigged the scene and put a rope around one of my feet and then went up through my pants and then around my other foot. That way she could kick 
or hit, and it would stop, and she missed and hit me. Oh. And, it swear, and it dropped me, and every guy in the place immediately just went, oh, like, holy shit. Everybody knew, and then Joey literally had the nerve to like, stand over me when I was laying on the ground like, fuck. When you read the script, uh, did you see the character the way it came out, or like what was the translation? Mine or Jay, or my Jay's? Uh, you're yours, yeah. Mine? Yeah, I mean, I'm playing me. I didn't even know who Stan Lee was. I was just me. I didn't even know who Stan Lee was. When I got there, I was like, who the hell is Stan Lee? Uh, but once I worked with him, it was great. It was one of the best experiences of my life. The guy was fantastic. It's cool. But I honestly, I didn't grow up reading comic books or really care about any of that stuff, so I just literally did not know who he was. <laughs> How long did it take to shoot this? I think about three months. Oh, in, in total. Um, then we shot in the coldest winter in Minnesota. It was miserable. We shot in a mall, that Eden Prairie Mall, from 8 o'clock at night till 8 in the morning for a couple of months. We didn't see darkness. People quote them to me more than anything, you know, as if I've never heard them before. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it's like people offer me these chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> But I do, whenever I sign paper, sign autographs, I try to, you know, if somebody wants a quote, I do say, uh, don't ever lose that nipple. <laughs> <laughs> I throw an extra nipple in there for, for good luck. <laughs>